Hi everyone. Herzogin Cecily was a German-built four-masted bark launched in 1902 at the Rickmeyer's shipyard in Bremerhaven. Named after Duchess Cecily of Mecklenburg-Schwerin, the wife of the heir to the Prussian throne, the ship was designed as a cargo vessel for transporting goods such as grain, wool, and other commodities between Europe and Australia. Known for its speed and sleek design, Herzogin Cecily gained fame in the 1920s for its remarkable performances in the Great Grain Race, a competition between sailing ships to deliver grain from Australia to the United Kingdom. With a storied career under both German and Finnish flags, the ship became a symbol of the golden age of sailing before meeting its end in 1936 when it ran aground off the coast of England. Despite its tragic conclusion, Herzog and Cecily remains one of the most iconic and fastest barks of its time. The Herzog in Cecily was built in 1902 at the renowned Rickmers shipyard in Bremerhaven, Germany, a major center for shipbuilding at the time. This ship was designed as a four-masted bark. The decision to name the ship Herzog in Cecily, Duchess Cecily, was inspired by the wife of the heir to the Prussian throne, Princess Cecily of Mecklenburg-Schwerin. This royal connection helped to symbolize the prestige of the ship and its connection to the German Empire's maritime ambitions. The design of the Herzog in Cecily was crafted to optimize both speed and cargo capacity. The ship was primarily built from strong oak wood. The hull was reinforced with metal plates and fastenings to ensure longevity and strength. She was 334 feet 8 inches long, with a breadth of 46 feet 3 inches and a draft of 24 feet 2 inches. She was yard number 122 and was launched on the 22nd of April 1902. Completion was on the 7th of June that year. After the launch, the Herzog in Cecily underwent several trials to test its performance under sail. The ship proved to be highly successful in these tests, showcasing impressive speed and maneuverability. Herzog in Cecily was built for Norddeutsche Lloyd Bremen. Unlike other contemporary German merchant sailing ships, the black flying P-liners or the green ships of Rickmeyer's, she was painted in white. She was one of the fastest wind jammers ever built, logging 21 knots at Skagen. The tall ships of the time remain competitive against the steamers only on the longer trade routes, the Chilean nitrate trade, carrying saltpeter from Chile to Europe, and the Australian wheat trade, carrying grain from Australia to Europe. Both routes required drowning Cape Horn routinely, and were not well suited for steamers, as coal was in short supply there. Herzog in Cecily was one of the fastest merchant sailing ships of her time, on a par with the flying P-liners. The trip around Cape Horn from Portland to the Lizard was done in 1903 in only 106 days. At the outbreak of World War I, she was interned by Chile, returning to Germany in 1920, only to be given to France as reparation, and subsequently sold to Gustav Eriksson of Finland for £4,250. She was home ported at Maria Harman. As the freight rates for saltpeter had dropped after the war, Gustav Eriksson sent her to bring grain from Australia. In so-called grain races, several tall ships tried to arrive first in Europe, to sell their cargo for a higher price, as told, for example, in the Great Tea Race of 1866. Typically, ships were loaded in the Spencer Gulf area, Port Victoria, South Australia, or Wallaroo, South Australia, and travelled to Europe, with ports on the British Isles like Queenstown, Ireland, or Falmouth, Cornwall, being considered as the finish. 
Grain Race or the Great Grain Race was the informal name for the annual windjammer sailing season generally from South Australia's grain ports on Spencer Gulf to Lizard Point, Cornwall on the southwesternmost coast of the United Kingdom, or to specific ports. A good, fast passage Australia to England via Cape Horn was considered anything under 100 days. The cargo was grain, usually wheat. The sailing ships which loaded in Spencer Gulf from January to June were, in a broader context, vivid evidence that South Australia was now inextricably bound into the rapidly developing global network of the wheat trade. The masters of the square-rigged grain carriers engaged in unofficial competition who would sail fastest across the Southern Ocean, around Cape Horn and up the Atlantic. While the race was informal, it was a source of betting and prestige. The ship with most victories was the four-masted Bark Herzog in Sicily at six times. The fastest ship was Palmu in 1933 in 83 days. The grain trade flourished through the 1930s and reached its peak in 1939. That year 13 wind jammers rode at anchor off Port Victoria. With the exception of two German ships, all, flew the flag of the Gustav Eriksson line and the pale blue Finnish cross. Before 1921, Herzog and Cecily had already secured four victories in the Great Grain Race, and she would go on to win the race four more times during eleven voyages between 1926 and 1936. In 1927, the ship achieved another notable victory, sailing from Port Lincoln, South Australia, to Falmouth, London, where she triumphed in a race against the Swedish vessel Beatrice. Under the command of Captain Sven Eriksson and first mate Elis Carlson, Herzog and Cecily departed Port Lincoln on January 21, 1935, with a cargo of wheat. Choosing a more southerly route than usual, the ship arrived at Falmouth on May 18, completing the passage in 86 days, the second fastest ever recorded at the time. However, disaster struck on April 25, 1936 when Herzog in Sicily, navigating through dense fog, ran aground on Hamstone Rock before drifting onto the cliffs of Bolt Head along the South Devon coast. Although part of the cargo was offloaded, the ship was able to float again. It was towed to Starhole Bay, near Salkham, in June 1936, where it was beached. On January 18, 1939, the ship capsized and sank, coming to rest at a depth of 7 meters. The wreck has since become a part of maritime history. Timber and brass portholes from the ship's chart room were salvaged and used to create a small room at the Cottage Hotel in Hope Cove, which still contains photographs and press clippings about the wreck. A collection of artifacts from the ship is also displayed in a small museum at Sven Eriksson's family home on the Öland Islands in Finland. Perhaps the most significant relic is the beautifully restored captain's saloon, salvaged before the ship's abandonment and now housed in the Öland Maritime Museum in Maria Harman, Finland. The Herzog and Cecily remains a legendary figure in maritime history, celebrated not only for its victories in the Great Grain Race but also for its tragic end. Today, remnants of the ship continue to tell its story, preserved in various locations, ensuring that its legacy as one of the finest four-masted barks lives on in the hearts of maritime enthusiasts and historians alike.
Thanks for watching.